Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. There was an update from Macaulay, and it was for the Master Core PS2 Elf Loader. Now, it says right here that this is version 0.13, so if you want to learn a little bit more about all these different types of repos, you can watch the video that I released yesterday on this topic and in the video yesterday i was talking about the previous release which was v0.12 but now that we've got a brand new release we can see that this has raw tcp transfer support so it says this release adds support for sending l files over a tcp socket with no additional metadata header therefore you can send files directly using tcp transfer tools such as netcat so obviously netcat is something for linux obviously if you are using windows and you have the windows subsystem for linux and running something like ubuntu well then you would have access to this command right here which is the nc for netcat the previous files loader scripts executables also still work now one other thing that i will say about doing this method but it was that there isn't really a progress bar for these raw tcp transfer support so you probably want to just continue using either you know the python script or just the windows executable we can see that it says additionally this update allows you to send multiple l files without needing to restart the game now it says except for l files which run indefinitely such as the game loader now if we scroll down into this release right here then we can see there is these updated dot card files so again in order to create the game save echo stretch will probably release a tweet that has the save games in there but you will either need to download a pack where that's already been pre-built or watch one of my videos on how to build the save file yourself and the other thing that was updated was actually the ps2 network game loader so if we come over here into releases so if we go into this it says raw tcp transfer support so again this release adds support for sending game isos over a tcp socket it was that however the previous file loader scripts will work and are recommended as they will give you a progress bar some network tools such as netcat will not provide you with any indication of how much the file has been transferred Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to my PlayStation 4. I've already got a USB with the latest and greatest card built into it. So I am pretty much ready to go. Okay, so I am signed in on my 10.01. And what I need to do at the beginning is that I need to come over here to settings. And then we're going to go down to storage and then we'll go to system storage and then save data and i'm going to get rid of this old one so i'm going to hit the options button there and then just delete that one completely now if you already have your usb drive ready that has your signed save data game file then you can just really come back into the settings and then go down to application save data management and then save data on the usb storage device copy to system storage and i'm going to select copy there and so now at this point i will go ahead and i will launch okage shadow king I am getting so tired of hearing that song, so I'm going to press the touchpad there, and we're going to restore a game, and here we go. It is waiting for the PS2 Elf payload. Okay, and so right here is the Master Core file loader. Again, this is the same exact thing as what is shown right here inside of the assets. 
and I am going to go ahead and begin by loading the PS2 Network Game Loader. Now, all of these L files kind of follow this format, so obviously this is going to designate whether it's PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5, and then these digits right here are going to correlate to what version number you're trying to target with this payload. So that looks good. And then again, this is my IP address to my PlayStation 4. So now I can go ahead and just press load. Okay, so it says PS2 Game Loader Network. So now it is waiting for a game file. And so I'm going to go ahead and send over a very small game. Okay, so I'm going to press load here. And there it goes. It launched perfectly. Again, this is running inside of the Okage Shadow King game. So that is very nice. We can see that it says, additionally, this update allows you to send multiple L files without needing to restart the game. Now it says, except for L files which run indefinitely, such as the game loader, which is what we were using just a second ago. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close back out of Okage Shadow King, and we'll go ahead and we'll relaunch it again, and then I will send two other L files over and see how it handles that multiple processing. So we'll go ahead and load the notification now. Okay, there we go. PS2 breakout, and there's the process ID. And really, now that it finished with that, it is now waiting again for another PS2 ELF payload. So let's go ahead and send the light bar one over. Okay, so there again, you can see the colors changing of the light bar depending on whether or not we are inside of the game. And there it is again, waiting for the PS2 ELF payload. Let's just go ahead and send over the notification one more time. And there you go. That was pretty much it for the very latest release. So anyway, I hope you got something out of that, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out.